So acidic amino acids, that means uh, we are all aware, amino acids are carrying both acidic as well as basic groups. So that means base amino group indicating the base and the carboxyl group indicating the acid, right? So similarly, if the amino acids are carrying extra acidic group, okay, okay, if they are carrying extra COOH in the structure, next to the regular carbohydrate uh, carboxylic group if they are carrying extra carboxylic one more extra i mean one more carboxylic group they uh, categorize under acidic common acids okay that is aspartic acid aspergine so aspergine is am amide form glutamic acid and glutamine glutamine is a again am amide form okay you see here aspartic acid is non essential amino acid okay and uh, which is capable of ionic bonds involved in chemical reactions so because of the presence of this extra okay carboxylic group they involved in participation of chemical reactions okay involved in i mean like how they they form ionic bonds okay they form ionic bonds when you see the structure of uh, this one aspartic acid you see here regular amino acids they are having a uh, regular amino group okay and uh, regular carboxylic group but here you see they are carrying extra carboxylic group compared with the regular one so that's why they are acidic more acidic so two carboxylic groups making the substance more acidic and coming to glutamic acid it is also a non essential amino acid okay so where do it required vitamin k2 uh, vitamin k2 okay vitamin k2 anticoagulant okay which is helpful in uh, uh, coagulation uh, sorry not anticoagulant it, which is helpful in coagulation of blood okay vitamin k and this vitamin k2 carboxylate glutamate residues that means this glutamate plays major role in like a coagulation along with the vitamin k okay and they give carboxyglutamate okay when they glutamate and k2 okay they forming what carboxyglutamate okay and this modification allows protein to bind calcium so for coagulation you require vitamin k and calcium and for this two association we require glutamic acid and when you coming to the structure okay you see again there is a presence of extra carboxylic group that means in case of aspartic acid at uh, beta beta position we have carboxylic group in glutamic acid we have gamma okay at gamma carbon we have extra carboxylic group next coming to aspartic it is also a uh, non essential amino acid aspartic is uh, uh, what to say it is a basic amino acid okay that means see like acidic amino acid what i have said extra carboxylic group is there compared to the regular carboxylic group those amino acids known as acidic amino acids and the amino acids which are carrying extra amino group okay they are basic amino acids okay here asparagine we are having extra amino group okay so which how they are present within amide linkage okay within amide linkage and glutamine it is a non essential amino acids okay it is also an a non essential amino acid it's very important compound in transamination reactions so what i have said transamination reactions transamination reactions are the reactions okay through which we can synthesize non essential amino acids okay transamination reactions are the basis behind synthesis of amino acids so that's why those amino acids are non essential because our body cells can able to produce those amino acids by transamination reaction so for those transamination reactions which amino acid is uh, acting as a mediator that is glutamine okay this glutamine carries extra amino group it is also in amide form okay glutamine not only in transamination reaction okay in detoxification of ammonia okay in the body okay ammonia is very toxic to us i mean like uh, in brain cells it is toxic so to convert into non toxic okay that ammonia has to be transported to the liver because liver is the site for detoxification okay then our uh, our body will not allow ammonia to transfer directly free form of ammonia is very toxic so how it travels from brain to the liver okay that ammonia will be taken by glutamic acid and converted to glutamine and this glutamine will be transported it is allowed to transport in the blood and reaches to the liver and there again this glutamine separates its uh, amino group okay ammonia ammonia as a amino group and this will be used in formation of urea okay so that is the main important point of glutamine next coming to basic amino acids okay lysine okay arginine histidine there are three that means 
lengthy nitrogen side chains they do carry okay basic amino acids lengthy nitrogen side chains they carry so lysine arginine histidine all are essential amino acids okay so coming to the uh, lysine it is an essential as i mentioned okay it is strongly polar that means water soluble okay so again there is one more classification based on the polar uh, polarity that means solubility okay so we'll see in next classification that one so for time being lysine is a polar amino acid okay you see here the structure r group so lengthy chains they do have and with extra amino group okay arginine it is semi essential so though you can say uh, for us for adults it is semi essential okay but for children it is essential arginine and histidine both are semi essential okay that means for adults they are semi essential for children they are essential so what is the functional group they do carry arginine guanidino group okay guanidino amino actually it is guanidino amino group okay in uh, mcq questions and uh, competitive exam point of view okay or in viva perspect okay they do ask what is the functional group in arginine so you should answer guanidino amino group okay guanidino amino group so this is the guanidino amino group okay arginine guanidino amino group the color reaction so in a group of amino acids to find out arginine which reaction you do sakaguchi test okay sakaguchi test answered by arginine because of the presence of the functional group guanidino amino group and arginine this is also formed in urea cycle one of the intermediate in urea cycle and arginine serves as precursor of nitric oxide histidine as i mentioned it is also one of the semi essential amino acid and what it contains it contains imidazole ring okay it, it doesn't carry any uh, linear chain okay there is a ring that is ring is called imidazole okay this ring is called imidazole ring okay so where whatever the extra amino groups are there which will be linked in the ring 